welcome back to Ostrich Investing. Uh, we published a video in February on Quarter Hill, just ahead of the Q4 results. At the time, the stock was trading at $1.32 per share. So since they published the Q4 results, the stock's rallied 15%. It's now trading at $1.52 per share. And this video is going to look at four key reasons why the stock price has moved. So let's jump into it. The first big reason if you look back to our initial video is the company had been EBITDA negative year to date and finally in Q4 the bleeding stopped. So if you look here at the highlights from the press release, we're just at the investor relations site, Q4 adjusted EBITDA was 3.2 million, fiscal 2018 adjusted EBITDA was negative 10.6. So if you think back to or if you look back to our original video, we had talked about uh, full year EBITDA coming in at maybe negative 15 to negative 20 million. Um, they were able to turn that around in Q4 and have a positive EBITDA quarter. So if we just jump into uh, their actual financial results on page 82, they break out by segment other uh, EBITDA. And so you could see here, the licensing division uh, had a positive EBITDA quarter, which was what's been missing uh, for the year-to-date period. Uh, the intelligent systems enterprise software, uh, enterprise software was slightly EBITDA negative, uh, 1.9 million for intelligent systems, and the total for 3.2 million. So reason number one, uh, they were able to turn around a EBITDA, uh, likely on the back of licensing and have a positive EBITDA quarter. Reason number two is they announced a restructuring. So the last bullet point here, initiated restructurings in Q3 2018 at IRD, which is one of their acquisition companies, and Q4 2018 at Wyland, so the patent portfolio, which combined are expected to save the company approximately 6 million per year. So again, uh, CEO coming out and basically telling the market, we recognize we've been negative EBITDA year to date. We know our licensing business is going to be choppy. We're not going to sit here and burn cash. Uh, and he's going to make some proactive moves there. So uh, $6 million in cost cutting. You can see as well the cash balance actually increased uh, for the quarter, which again, compared to what had happened year to date, the cash balance was starting to, to dwindle. So a couple of big uh, changes and, and the CEO announcing the expected cost savings, that's going to materially, you know, move EBITDA. If you think about EBITDA of negative 10 million, 6 million of cost savings is material. Number three, they actually announced a new licensing deal on the same day. So here's the press release on the same day. Wyland and several subsidiaries signed comprehensive semiconductor license agreement with SK Hynix. They really didn't um, release any financial details, but as with the licensing portfolio, news like this is, is good news. And then finally, the last key reason, and I think one of the most important reasons why the stocks made a move up, and let me see if I can find it here. Here we go. The CEO came out with a quote. Finally, as we look to next quarter, we anticipate continued momentum from our operations reflected in license deals such as SK Hynix. And while we do not anticipate providing regular guidance on a quarterly basis, we do expect Quarter Hill's consolidated revenue for Q1 2019 to be in the range of 33 to 36 million. Now, why is this? Why is this important? If we take a look at uh, page 70 of their financial results. You can see that in 2018, which had been a tough year, revenue for the full year was 77 million. So what the CEO is saying uh, is that, look, we don't normally provide guidance, don't expect us to continue to continue to do this, but hey, Q1 is going to be a lot better in 2019. Uh, we're going to be off to a lot better start uh, than than 2018. So 32 to 36, sorry, 33 to 36 million dollars of revenue is is essentially half of the, the revenue that they put up for the full year. And I think there the CEO is just recognizing that the market needed some assurance that uh, that the business isn't going to continue to be 
EBITDA negative, and that uh, from a revenue perspective, 2018 might be the anomaly. So that's it for this video. Just a quick one to come in and take a look at the at the results. Um, let me know what you think. Will 2019 be a good year for Quarter Hill? Uh, will they get the Apple settlement? Will it be you know in the hundred million dollar range? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with more content. Until then, happy investing and don't bury your head in the sand.